This is a quick video tutorial on how to use the Speechify Chrome extension. So the first thing I did is search Speechify on Google, and then I'm going to click on the second link here, which is for the Speechify Chrome extension. I can see that it's currently used by about 112,000 people, and I can click this button to download it. In my case, I already have it downloaded. So the next thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to this Wikipedia article, and I want to read this first paragraph. So then I'll just click on the Speechify extension. Dyslexia, also known as reading disorder, is characterized by trouble with reading despite normal intelligence. Um, so I can play and pause. I can decrease the speed if I want. So let's make it like that, and I'll highlight a new phrase. Reading quickly, writing words, sounding out words in the head, pronouncing words when reading aloud and understanding what one reads. Four, eight, often needs difficulty, or first notice at school. Three, when someone previously could. Reading quickly. So I can change the, the, the speed in that way. I can also choose to change the voices to whatever voice I want. And even if I want to listen to something that's in Japanese or Russian or Hebrew or French or Spanish, I can listen to things in those languages as well. Um, the next thing I want to show you is that with Speechify, I can do another really cool thing, which is I can change the keyboard shortcuts. So if I command click this, I can open it in a new tab. I can scroll down and I'll be able to find Speechify. If you have a lot of extensions, you can command uh, F search for Speechify. And I can see that to activate speaking, I can click on option A. And then to play and pause, I can click on option Q. To speed up, I can click on option D. And to slow down, I can click option S in my keyboard. So we started off in this Wikipedia page, but let's say I want to go and read a piece of news. So I can triple click this paragraph and then shift click this paragraph so I can highlight both of them. And then I'm going to click option A to start speaking. There's a sign in Danielle Steele's office that reads, there are no miracles. There is only discipline. So now I clicked option Q to pause. Now I noticed that the last word that was said was discipline. And so the next word that's going to be said is it's a dutiful message. Um, and that'll start playing when I unpause it by hitting option Q again. It's a dutiful message. And yet the sheer amount that Steele has accomplished. In so now what I'm going to show you is actually that speed for me is a little bit too slow. I want it to be faster. So I can click option D as it's playing to increase the speed. Her five decade career does seem like the stock of dreams. Let's look at the numbers, shall we? The author has written 179 books, which have been translated into four languages. 22 of them have been adapted for television. And, and then I can click option S to slow it down. Of those adaptations, adaptation have received Golden Globe nominations. Steel releases seven new novels a so year. I can use these buttons to control it, or I can use these keyboard shortcuts that I now showed you. Now, Speechify works not only in Wikipedia and news articles um, or Google Docs. I can also even read my emails using it. Hi, so, Cliff. Uh, in this case, I've highlighted this piece of text that I want read out to me. I'm going to open up. Hi, Cliff. Below are my most important thoughts. In addition, I've attached a PDF for a Harvard Business School case study on Dropbox that I think has some great insights for growth strategies we can follow. Now, if I want to go and listen to that Google Doc, all I need to do is navigate to the Google Doc, highlight the words that I want to listen to, and then open Speechify. Dropbox. It just works. Drew Houston, the 27-year-old co-founder and CEO of Dropbox, a downloadable application that allowed users to easily share, sync, and store Another useful way of activating Speechify is to highlight the phrase that you want to listen to, right-clicking, and then clicking Speechify. Hi, Cliff. Below are my most important thoughts. In if you want to pause, just right-click and click Speechify again. And to play from the location that you stopped, just do that once more. In addition, I have attached a PDF for a Harvard Business School case study on Dropbox that I've... So the last word was Dropbox that I think has... So the word next words will be has some great think has some great insights for growth strategies we can follow. The for me personally, the Chrome extension has been the most game-changing of all the... Sometimes it's easier to highlight text and right-click as opposed to having to move your cursor all the way to the top right. And that's how to use the Speechify Chrome extension.